Hey guys, welcome back to another video showing you how to model the ADC plane in SOLIDWORKS. So in this video, it's going to be pretty short and simple. I'm just going to show you guys how we can do electronics and some tips to make your life easier. So looking over here, this is a picture of a receiver similar to the one we'll be using. As you can see, it's got some like intricate little parts. You can model it as precisely or as roughly as you like. I'm, the way I'm planning to model it is by getting this rough profile here and extruding it in this direction. But again, if you wanted, in theory, you could do all these pins. It's just a lot of hassle and isn't really worth your time. So I'll show you how to do this. We're going to go back to um, this part, open a new part, call it receiver. And in your front plane, start a sketch. And then for your sketch, just sketch the profile of the receiver and do it roughly. It doesn't need to be exact. And um, what's important here is the mass and the rush shape. Smart dimension it, make sure you're in millimeters. I'm going to go for 20 along here. Oh, I don't want to do that. And then I'm going to make this. Let's go for 13. And then I'll make this guy. How about make it eight? Okay, check these dimensions. Um, and for the sake of time, I'm just gonna use these given dimensions, and it's fully defined, which is great. It means um, this is fully constrained. Extra smart dimension. Go to features. Go ahead and extrude it. I'm gonna extrude it 20 millimeters. Actually, I'm gonna go for like 18. Bit smaller than that. Okay, cool. So now you have this rough shape of the receiver. I am going to show you how you can use a fillet tool to make it slightly nicer, slightly prettier. Fillet basically curves off the corners. So items to fillet, I wanted to do this side. This side, I basically want all the edges filleted. So I think that should be all of them. I am making um, a fillet it like this. See down here, there are lots of other things you can tweak, but um, one important thing is the radius. So this basically is how big is the radius of the circle you're filleting it by. One millimeter is what I'm going for. Just something small, make it look a bit curved. And there we go. This is our receiver. Just looks slightly nicer than before. The one really important thing we do here though is define its mass. Now, as we've done before, we have defined densities of things and SOLIDWORKS can then compute mass by knowing volume. The only issue is how on earth are you gonna find the density of this? It's got lots of different components. And also, so what's a lot easier is just to stick it on a weighing scale and get its mass and then um, define the mass as set. So to define the mass as set, you are gonna go ahead and you're gonna go to evaluate. You're gonna go to mass properties here and then you're going to go override mass properties and then put here, click on override mass and put here whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to set it to five grams and then you go OK. And now you see the mass user overridden is five grams, which is perfect. That's what I want it to be. If the receiver instead was 25 grams, which would be very heavy. But anyway, you could then override it that way. Um, for the battery, same thing. It's just a pain to find the density of, say, something like a battery. SOLIDWORKS does not have an inbuilt battery density function. So overriding the mass is just a far easier, quicker way to do it. And it can be useful for electronics. And you can go ahead and insert this into your plane assembly. Um, uh, and depending exactly how you're planning on creating the plane, whether you're doing foam boards or, f or a foam block with stuff carved out, will depend exactly what you do to put it in. But there is my receiver here. You would find some way of putting it in the assembly, constraining it with mates as we went over before. And that's basic overview of how you can do electronics. You can do the same thing with all the other electronics and add them in. So short video, just showing you guys basically don't stress by making electronics too complicated. Simplify them and you can define the masses rather than defining the densities. Thank you guys and have fun doing that part of the project.